I'm doing a jewelry collection video today, which I'm really excited for because I actually have not done one in so long. I think I've only done one on my channel and it was a very long time ago and it was just when I had just gotten into starting to wear jewelry. Um, before for my whole life, I wasn't really like into it that much. And then suddenly I had like this epiphany that I loved gold jewelry. And so that essentially <laughs> began my obsession with it. And so now I have quite a few more pieces. Most of it I wear on like an everyday basis and I just kind of cycle through it for different days. Um, but I kind of stick to the same things. So I'm going to show you that as well. Um, if you like it, feel free to subscribe down below. I'm actually doing like my version of Vlogmas right now where I'm uploading every day. Um, the weekdays are mostly like fashion videos, uh, beauty videos, that kind of thing, mostly fashion right now. And then on the weekends I vlog. So feel free to stick around for that. Uh, but let's get into it. I think I'm going to start with the the jewelry that I have on that most of the time I have on um, and I have like I'll go through the other stuff that I kind of cycle through as well through the week let's start okay so first off I'm going to start with my earrings that I have on right now which are from Ana Luisa I would say these are probably my most worn earrings I wear them majority of the time and I like to only keep like one pair of gold hoops on my ears most of the time because um, that way I can sleep in them I just about do every single thing in them I work out in them sleep uh, I don't shower in any of my jewelry just because I don't want to risk it even if there's some things that I can shower and I choose not to and most of the time I do wash my hands with my jewelry. Just clarification. That's why there is some like rubbing off on some of them. I'll explain it um, coming up. But yeah, like I said, these are my go-to earrings. They're the Ana Luisa Twisted Hoops. And I like them because they're so lightweight, but they're still like heavy. You know what I mean? Like they're not like you feel them there they're not like super big and bulky to where they hurt your ears um, but they're just enough to where they feel nice on the ears still like not just wearing like nothing on your ears you know what i mean and obviously they're beautiful i love the twisted look i think it's classic and timeless especially in the gold i just think it's a really beautiful silhouette and anything that i can't remember the name of i'll just link down below everything i'll try to link as much as i can um that i can find but um as for my necklaces i have here the lexi necklace from Anne louisa which i think is so beautiful i just love obviously the body and its silhouette and in a necklace I think it's gorgeous I love the gold especially and I like how small it is but it's still like a statement in my opinion I don't know I was looking for something that kind of gave a little bit more than just like my normal chains which I mostly wear a lot of the time um, but I love this one and then the bottom one is also from Ana Luisa it's just like this opal stone with a flower in the middle and it's gold and it just reminded me of like a vintage necklace and I love it and a lot of my jewelry is actually Ana Luisa I do work with them a lot but also I buy a lot of it myself because I love them They're sustainable and they just have really good quality and affordable jewelry which is what, exactly what I look for in jewelry and then the top one um, is from Majuri we noticed that my Majuri pieces are just like the ones that really really last and look brand new no matter how much I wear them so this is their bold herringbone chain necklace um, and this one I've had I probably think for a year and it just looks exactly like the first time I wore it and I don't shower with it like I said but the material it's made off of is called vermeil vermeil um, and it's a thick layer of 18k solid gold on sterling silver and I have the 18 inch length um, but I would love to get the 16 inch so I can like layer it um, and I just love the thickness of this and the color of it I don't know it's just perfect to me me. and then moving on to my rings which I think are my favorite part I was never a ring person I always hated them I hated having them on my fingers I don't know within the past few years I've been so obsessed with them I just think they add such a look to an outfit I think we'll just start maybe with my engagement ring so that is the Lauren ring it's from Olive Avenue jewelry and I love my engagement ring I just think it's the most beautiful ring ever I don't know it's just my favorite thing I love how simple and little it is and lightweight um, but also I love how thin like the gold band is around it it's just so beautiful I also love Olive and Arrow amazing if you're looking for an engagement ring for or just rings in general I highly recommend Olive and June they make beautiful beautiful pieces there's so much love that goes into them and you can tell um, and then my wedding ring is not my official wedding ring it is actually it, well <laughs> the, so it's actually funny my wedding ring that is with my engagement ring is not my actual wedding ring However, it's the ring that I got married with. It's an Amazon ring still. Um, if you can see here, it like, honestly, I'm very, very impressed with it for $15 on Amazon. We got them like a week before our wedding because we plan our wedding in 30 days, like a very small backyard wedding, just kind of an elopement in a way. And I was not, I still am not sure what kind of wedding ring I want to go with it. I should actually like get that going and figure it out but for now I'm fine with it it was gold at first it did turn to silver but otherwise I'm very impressed with it still and it does the job um so <laughs> eventually I want one that like goes around my like engagement ring I just have to like pick one out and like whatever on to the rest of my rings this one is from Anna Luisa it's their big bold dome ring I believe it's called the Noah ring actually N-O-A and it 
it's my favorite because it's like such an impact. I don't know. I just feel like it also fits my fingers really well because I have thicker fingers and I think it looks nice on them. Yeah, I don't know. And then this is my pointer finger ring. It's actually from Marrow. Jared got me this for our first wedding anniversary and I think it's beautiful. It's like a rose gold, which I love mixing metals. I like having just silver, gold, rose gold, whatever on, at least rings especially. Um, but I love this ring. And then th and these ones are both from Anna Louise as well. This is their twisted gold bold ring, I believe. And then this one is their cigar band, which is actually my newest one. And I think this one might be my new favorite ring from them. It was this one, but I love this, how just like simple and sleek it is. I just think it's really nice. It's their Wade ring. That's the name of it. Um, so that is all of the jewelry that I currently have on and that I wear most of the time. Then we'll get into my next like everyday pieces that I kind of swap out these ones with. I think I'm going to go by section and by brand. Next I'm going to talk about my earrings and I'm going to start with all of the ones that I've purchased from Target because if you are looking for very very affordable jewelry I highly recommend Target um, and not specifically I don't really like okay I've gotten the Wild Fable brand from there and those ones tarnish really quickly and leave my stuff green and my ears green and stuff but however the other brands I think it's a new day and let me make universal threads maybe those ones are great and I've never had any issues with them. My ears are a little bit sensitive sometimes, um, but like I said, no issues and they've lasted and I'll show you the ones that I have from there. And I got some of these a while ago from there. So if they don't have them, I'll find something similar and link them for you. Um, but they're just mostly basically gold pieces. So first we're going to start off with these big chunky hoops. These are my like biggest hoops that I think I have. And I like the gold color. I think they look like as close to real gold as you can get, I think, whenever they're fake gold. Um, but I think they look beautiful. They're just like such a nice classic hoop. I like that they're a little bit thicker than old hoops that I've had that are super like thin, um, but gold still. I, they're also really lightweight. Um, the next ones I have, actually, I think I wore them for like every day for like a year or so. They're definitely worn, but I could still wear them. And I love the shape of them. They're just like a very, very simple classic hoop. You know, they're the perfect size. They're like a nice medium in the middle. Not super big, not super small. They still like look really nice and put together when you wear them. These ones are my tinier ones. They're almost like little huggies in a way, uh, but they're a little bit bigger than huggies actually. I don't know, I really like them because they're super thick still and so you can definitely like tell when you're wearing them and they like pull together an outfit still without being too big. Um, and then these ones are probably my newer ones from Target and I love these ones. I've been wearing these a lot lately. They're just big, chunky hoops. They remind me of Jennifer Fisher earrings. If you've seen those before, they're very much so similar to this, but I think these were like $10 or something. That's the thing. I think all of those were around $10, $15, no more than that, I don't think. In my opinion, I think that's great, especially if you don't want to spend a lot, if you don't wear jewelry a lot, just getting into it, or just want like an affordable thing that will last. I believe these ones are by the brand Madewell, and I actually got these last Christmas, I want to say, from my brother-in-law, and he did such a good job because I think they're so cute. Um, I love wearing these whenever I want to wear gold hoops but I have like a colorful outfit going on I feel like because it has so many different colors in these I just really like how they look with outfits um, and they're also really nice quality and I've also always heard amazing things about Madewell jewelry um, and these are my first things from them and I they didn't disappoint me I love them next I have Majuri I have two pair of earrings from them and these ones are the ones I've been wearing every day lately like if you've seen my videos and me wearing like small hoops these are it these are actually, I wish they were bigger because they're so beautiful and I wish you could see the detail a little bit more whenever I'm wearing them, but they do have little stars on them or little, um, they have like little crystals in them and then stars kind of around them and I just think it's really pretty. I like how dainty they are. Again, they're super lightweight, but still very pretty. Then these ones are like my go-to when I don't want a gold hoop. I do like this gold chain and I think these are really beautiful too. I love love these from a jury they did such a good job like i've never seen these before timeless and chic again um and like i said they're more of like a drop earring and so i like that whenever i'm not looking for a hoop and then i have anna luisa which i have a few uh, most of these actually none of these are hoops from them and i also love these ones for whenever i don't want to wear hoops and i want to wear more of like a colorful um statement earring but like not too much of a statement earring you know it's kind of like a subtle funky earring and i love the pattern on them and the color and just like the style of them i think are super cute 
And then I have those exact same ones, but in their checkered version. I believe these ones are more new. And I think they're so cute. I love the blue and white checkers. These actually go with a lot more than you would think. And these ones are actually on both sides, which I like because it doesn't matter what way you put them on. That's the one thing I have about these is that whenever I put them on, I always put them on wrong and then you can only see the gold, which is fine. And I don't notice. And I'm like, crap, I wanted this side to be, you know, what you can see, but it happens. Then these are my small little drop kind of style earrings. They're not a hoop, but they're not a drop earring, but they're not a stud. I'd say they're like a mix of all of them. I think they're so cute. They have like a checkered pattern, if you can see that, with like the with like the crystals and then the gold. I think it's so cute and subtle, and I love that. Um, and they're just like really nice. I usually wear them in my second hole with like um, a pair of hoops or something like that. And I think they re look really nice. Again, I like that they kind of swoop under your ears, but they're still not like the same as my other hoops that I'm wearing, if that makes sense. And then I have like my more fun, funky earrings which i like to wear when i'm just feeling like again funky um they're from the able shop which is one of my favorite favorite vintage shops she actually has a shop in chicago i want to say um or the chicago area so like i said i'll link able shop and all their stuff down below but i love them and they're just so beautiful and i love 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 the color i don't know and i should definitely wear them this crystal i feel like that could be cute with like a very slicked back bun or something i don't know but i think that i found these ones at a vintage store they just you know they're just cute um i love the colors in them i like that they're like this shape i don't know it feels very vintage to me but adds like a more of a like a fun touch because of the colors and the pattern on them and they really match a lot and i, I like a pink earring i don't know these are my only pink earrings and i wear them a lot actually um and then my last pair of salmon earrings that i wear a lot are these black ones they're just like a simple black like threaded look or material i guess i want to say these are target bobble bar but again, just when I want a black earring, they actually make such a nice statement. Now for the rest of my rings here, I have these two are from Amazon. I think they are so cute. I wanted like these emerald cut rings to just wear like last year and I went on Amazon and I found a bunch of them. I think they look way more expensive than they are. Um, I love the rose gold one. Again, I just love rose gold and that was my thing for a while and I still love it. And then this one looks like a designer one that I've seen before and I don't remember the brand of it, but I think it's gorgeous and I think these were both like $10. And then these two, I actually have little name rings, which I think are the best. Okay, if you're looking for like a really great Christmas gift, I think like name rings that look like this are so nice. They're so cool to me. They look vintage, uh, but they're not. Obviously, these are from the brand, I want to say Sylviax. I don't know for sure, but you can find them on Etsy as well. Um, but I have one that says Jordan and one that says Jared because... I don't know. And then this one is my Virgo ring, which I actually found at a thrift store and I just liked it because I was looking for like a big Signe ring like this. And I saw that it said Virgo and I was like, eh, it's fine. I don't know any Virgos personally, I don't think, but I like it. And then I came home and I was showing my mama and she was like, you know who Virgo is? She reminded me that my papa was a Virgo and I was like, that made it so much spe more special. I was like, this was meant to be my ring for some reason. And so now it's my papa ring. Um, but like I said, it was at the thrift store, so I'm sorry I don't know the brand of it, I don't think. Let me see if it has one on here. I think it does. Okay, next is my most dainty piece of jewelry I think I own, and I love it. Um, this is the Paisley Ring by Anna Luisa. I think it's so pretty and dainty. If you're not into chunky jewelry, I think this is the most precious, like, delicate ring. And I believe it's 14 karat gold on sterling silver, if I remember correctly, and I just think it's so cute. I have two... Uh, bracelets. I just don't wear bracelets that often. I kind of want to start getting into them because I always see them on other people and they look so pretty. Um, but this one is from Majuri. It is their bold herringbone bracelet. And I like this because it's dainty. And so when I do go for a bracelet, um, I usually reach for this one. I think it's very pretty and just delicate. And then my other one was a gift from my Nana Papa um, a few years ago and diamond like tennis bracelet, I want to say. And I like that it's adjustable here. I want to say they got it from K Jewelers. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I don't even know if they're around still, but I think it's really pretty and it's one of my favorite ones, not only because they got it for me and I love that, but I just think it's really pretty. I love a good tennis bracelet. I just think they're very classic and timeless again. Like I said, I think it's from K Jewelers. I'm going to try to find it. If not, I'll find something similar. Um, and then next are the rest of my necklaces, which are probably the thing I have the most of because I love layering necklaces so much. Okay, first up we have this like random chain linked necklace that I actually wear so often and I bought it from Amazon a while ago and I, I love it still. It's really nice. It serves its purpose. It's really great for layering because it's not super thick and noticeable. Um, and I just really like this one. Like I said, I think it was probably like $10 or so on Amazon and it did break a little bit, but I just, it's kind of 
nice and easy because I can just attach it to um, one of the other links instead of like the thing that's supposed to, you know, like the little clasp. Okay, and then this is from Shop Del Mato, which is my first, I think, necklace purchase that I made. Um, to start like wearing necklaces and like layering them. This was gold before. I do have a little gripe about that because it's definitely like silver now. Um, and if you can see this part's gold and I still like it. I don't wear it that often just because it's a little bit thicker and again, and it's silver now. And I did like it a lot better when it looked gold. It does feel really nice, I will say that. And I like the thickness of it too. Okay, next for my necklaces is my Franklin necklace who is my firstborn cat. Um, <laughs> this one is from Sylviax Jewelry. Again, same with like the um, rings. They make very nice custom jewelry. And I think this one looks so cool. Like I feel like such a cool person having and wearing this. I just, I love the design on it. I feel like it looks very vintage looking and just very expensive when I don't think it was. I think this is also a really, really great gift idea. I actually want to order my husband something like this for for his birthday or something i just think it's super cool and i love it and then next i have like a little mini pearl necklace i love pearl necklaces it is a little bit short but nonetheless i think it's really pretty and it adds like another texture to like a stack of jewelry when you're wearing a whole stack of necklaces um so yep and then next this was my first gold herringbone chain necklace that i ever got myself and this one i found on poshmark i want to say for twenty dollars i really recommend if you are looking for like a nice gold necklace or gold jewelry in general i think I think looking secondhand is a really great option, especially like um, things because this one says it's Napier, um, and I didn't even know that until now. But I think people find them at the thrift store and put them on like Poshmark and stuff, and you can swoop them up or on eBay. Even a lot of the time when they're vintage and they still look really nice, that means like it's a good piece of jewelry in my opinion. Um, and what from what I found, so definitely highly recommend that. And I think this one is perfect. It's just like a nice thin chain. Next is another herringbone necklace. This one's a little bit thicker and a little bit shorter. Um, I believe this one is from Lily Clasp. And my sister got me this last year for Christmas, and I love this again. This one's a little bit thicker. I like this one because of the length of it. It's really nice, like, when you have a stack like this to have, like, a little bit shorter of one. Um, so that's what I use this one for most of the time. Next, I have my B necklace for my last name. And this, I think Jared picked me up, I want to say, last... Christmas or the year before, um, right? Yeah, the year before, right after we got engaged, he gave me this, and I think it's so pretty, and I, I love that. Um, and again, just like in general, I love these kind of necklaces with the names on them. I know Celine has like those really cool uh, name or letter necklaces that were big a few years ago that I used to see on Amazon all the time. I actually had one from Amazon. Okay, the last thing that I have for all of my jewelry is this necklace. This one is from Ana Luisa. I thought it used to be gold, but maybe I'm wrong. This one, it looks silver now. I don't know what it is. Maybe I wore it in the shower. I know Anna Louise's stuff you're not supposed to wear in the shower um, or get wet or something, but yeah, this is definitely them. So I really like the design on it and the chain detailing. I feel like it's really nice and it adds a different element because I really like herringbone chains. As you can see, I have a few of them and this one kind of looks a little bit different because I feel like when you layer them, you kind of want different looking ones to like kind of all go together and that's why I like this one, but um, that is it for my jewelry collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, feel free to subscribe down below. And, um, yeah, let me know if you have any favorite jewelry companies or favorite jewelry brands or something that I should check out because I obviously love jewelry and I'm always looking for new brands to try out. So, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.